everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Krista and I'll be doing your May 2019 general reading for the sign of Gemini Sun Moon and Rising this is for all Gemini Sun Moon and Rising signs I hope you enjoyed your April reading so we're going to be looking at big shifts in energy I don't know about you but I've been feeling big big um, changes shifts of energy in uh, I would say the past four to six weeks so we're gonna look at the winds of change spread it's a short but comprehensive reading of course I will get some qualifier cards and then as always we'll get jumpers from the Oracle decks but the main theme here is I wanted to look at the winds of change what are some challenges that are approaching or that you uh, need to face in order to further develop. So these guys just jumped out. We have the Page of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Something about a celebration here with the Nine of Cups could be an overindulgence. Um, and then we have the Page of Swords on top of that. So needing more information, or doing some research around an issue of a celebration. It'll be interesting to see if they show up in the reading as well. It could be that you feel you need to finalize something, finalize a project, research, that type of thing before celebrating, or you're celebrating after having finished that, that type of thing. If you're a student, for example, you could be graduating. That could be as simple as that. Got. Let's get five cards for you, Gemini. What does Gemini need to know with regard to the winds of change? From May 2019, Gemini winds have changed. And what's this guy? Oh, page of Wands. So yeah, um, leveling up, new awareness, uh, the next stage, the next event. So I think something's going to be pretty exciting for you at least, Gemini, in the month of May. Winds have changed messages for, oh, come on. No way. Okay, the nine came back out again and then the tower. So yeah, big, big changes. But again, let's use the um, the analogy of graduating. I mean, yeah, it's everything changes after you graduate. You go into the work world. Um, if you've got loans, those are going to come out. So yeah, I mean, the tower doesn't have to be scary or unexpect um, necessarily bad. It can just be a little unexpected. All right, messages for Gemini. Winds have changed, 2019. Messages for Gemini. May 2019. We did have the really sweet nine of pentacles, a very independent energy. This is just for Gemini. Change May Of course, I'll be looking at the cards just on their own energetically and then, of course, in their positions. <clears throat> All right, Gemini. Yeah, I mean, little, little leaps toward big changes here. You do have your underlying energy as our Cancer here, the Queen of Cups. This is nurturing, intuition, foundations of home and family. These could be what the winds of change for you are going to be speaking about or interacting with or impacting this month. You could have cancer in the first five planets of your chart as well. If that's the case, this is definitely your energy. You may know a cancerian, a cancerian rather. 
Or you may need to just, you know, adopt and process this type of energy as a general energy for the month for you. And then we have the moon. So Pisces and Cancer energy here. A lot of heart, a lot of intuition, a lot of feeling uh, could be profound and helpful for you this month. So just energetically speaking, we do have some fire sign energy here for you, which is really great. The two, the ace, the two, and the three of rods. So there, this is just really a new opportunity, a new way to behave, um, being excited to take the next step. You have a plan of action here, and this is knowing what you are, um, what you have set forth to go do. You're, you're expecting the rewards, you're expecting results. And then we have the gorgeous Ten of Pentacles here, which is a legacy. This is long-standing uh, relationships. This is grandparents. Um, you know, there's there's a great feeling of satisfaction here. Um, traditions, you know, family traditions, this type of thing. And then the Messenger of uh, Air or the Knight of Swords, as it were. There could be some rushing messages coming to you, nothing that you necessarily want to hear. I would just be aware about who's giving you these messages and more information could be necessary at this time. So in its original position, how that change is associated with your physical being or resources, at least for the month of May, Gemini, I think it's just important for you to just focus on what it is that you want to change or what it is that you want to improve or develop. I think it's just picking it. You might even know what it already is just because we have the two of fire or, or wands as it were. And this is a real sense of, you know, I can do anything I want. It's sort of energetically speaking similar to the magician, whereas the magician knows they have everything and now they get to, now they get to put it to practice. This is like, you can envision everything. So you're getting there. This is the first stage of having everything, but it's just deciding on what it is you really, really want and then taking action, being willing to take that action, or at least knowing what the next step is. The challenges, opportunities, or problems. Yeah, I mean, it could have to do with the home, long-standing traditions. Could even just be like a sense of stability if this is, you know, this is it could be old money, right? Assets, that type of thing. Could be, um, what's it called? Like a heritage when somebody passes and they leave you like, like a will and estate, that type of thing. But in terms of opportunities or problems, I think that this could lend to your family or legacy situation. It could be very, very positive here. And in fact, that's what you could be doing. Your new situation or the winds of change has to do with the mother, the family, tradition, legacy, that type of thing. And I think you know what it is, or at least you have an idea between one or and two things about what it is that you want to move forward and begin here. The changes effect on your plans or projects is a very beautiful one. And I think as an inspiration, this is a beautiful position for the Ace of Wands to be in. Uh, this just essentially means that you're not, there's no fear here. You're perfectly okay moving forward with a decision, with a plan that you had already thought about, knowing it's going to impact this for the better. I think it's just about taking action. What's the first thing you need to do? And this is your opportunity here. This is your inspiration. So jump on that because as it says here, your emotional reactions or experiences that you can expect is a great payback. I think you know exactly what this is because the payoff you already anticipate. You can feel it. You can, you know, you uh, allow for this. You're accounting for this. So this is a beautiful development that you have in process or that you have moving forward and there's no fear whatsoever here i think that you know exactly what position you want to move into now remember the two of wands you know one of the major themes in some of the artwork is the person has the world in his or her hands right so again energetically speaking very similar to the magician in sense of the magician can do anything he or she wants with the material they have. This is you deciding what material it is you need in order to become the magician. So it's it's starting out early. It's young in the plan here. But again, it's early on. I mean, we're not even middle of the year, right? So this is beautiful. You've come a long way into thinking about 
you know, even intuitively with your intuition or at a feeling level to be comfortable with this change um, or progress within your legacy or family um, situation here. And then something you need to know about the nature. More information. I would say more information is necessary. Try to discover who your source is. Citations, books, references. Just find out who that is. Who are you getting information from? Uh, are they reliable? And um, do you trust them? And if there's something that's being brought to the table with regard to information, you know, I would pay attention as well to what they have to benefit from it. Make sure this person is on your side. Make sure this person is positive, has a lot of potential. Um, because the Knight of Swords can really, it can be daunting. It can be daunting energy just because it can be heavy. There can be too much information at this time as well. So something you need to know about the nature of the change is maybe get out of your head. Don't overthink things here. Don't complicate things. Maybe the other a way to read this as well is that if this is you, for example, and of course the knights are the, um, the mutable signs, Gemini, so this would represent you. Make sure you don't get in your own way, right? Make sure you don't fill up your own mind with unnecessary thoughts or... Um, old patterns of belief and that type of thing. Just make sure you're not your own worst enemy this month and start taking action toward a dream and goal. So we're going to qualify one of the cards here. Let's see. I mean, let's let's look more at the um, Knight of Swords. So something you need to know. Why is the Knight of Swords? Why do you need to know more about the nature of the change. How is the Knight of Swords the nature of the change? Is the Knight of Swords the nature of the change? Well, it does have something to do with nostalgia, longing for the past. Could be an old childhood dream, a story you used to tell yourself as a child. This is really deep, Gemini. I really didn't think, I mean, Silly me, right? We are dealing with Pisces and Cancer underlying energy. This does have something to do with your heart, an inner longing, an inner heart space. It could affect, right, family or legacy, long-term planning. It could affect that. But this is something that's definitely beginning in the heart. It's very emotional, uh, needs a lot of nurturing because we just qualified the Knight of uh, Swords here and I've been doing this recently just because it's just occurred to me that she is in the water but I don't know if you can see that little girl's reflection so this grown woman is sort of looking at the little girl's reflection in the mirror um, something having to do with your own childhood someone's childhood longing nostalgia is a big one going back in time reminiscing is a big is a big theme here it could be that you're overthinking a childhood, overthinking nostalgia. Something's going on deep, deep within your heart here that you want to make changes around. But you're starting off small, okay? And maybe don't be too daunted by that. Maybe just take little steps at this time. There's no, well, there is a major arcana under, under your underlying energy the Pisces moon. But again, I mean, we're getting 12, once you're getting into Pisces, you're getting into 12th house energy, uh, self-undoing, um, the Vesica Pisces, uh, portholes, new beginnings, ultimately with endings. So, I mean, this, this is a big deal to you in your heart and in, in the real world, the way it's going to play out, but you're just starting with it pretty early. This is all pretty early energy. Here we have diversion. I'm not really surprised to see this. I think when you are, Gemini, you're an air sign, right? I mean, it doesn't mean that it's harder for you to deal with the emotions. It means that sometimes it could involve overthinking that or overanalyzing that. And it, and that becomes uncomfortable instead of just let it be. So, you know, letting it be what it is. Uh, it is what it is, the emotional world. So 
try to feel that and let it be. If it is nostalgia or a longing, you know, maybe um, examine that from a heart space as opposed to overthinking it or, you know, trying to, you know, quantify it somehow, uh, you know, maybe trying to get resources or trying to, oops, this was uh, upside down in the deck here. So maybe just going into your feeling space, developing your feeling and emotional self this month. Here we have manifestation. I just want to finish off by saying diversion. So just be aware, diversion is showing up here because it's just telling you that, you know, you can get diverted from this pretty easily um, because you are early on into the game here. But, you know, do you want significant change? Do you really want these changes? Do you want to be able to go deep and develop emotionally here? And I would stop diverting away from it because even that process, even if it's difficult, has a lot to teach you and can help you grow, right? This is the winds of change. So manifestation, yeah, I do think that you can definitely create something here. You have everything you need. Um, not speaking about all the elements of change necessarily, but you have the mind for it. You can examine it. You can pinpoint it. You have a lot of action energy here. You're willing to make a move for it. And then, of course, the three of wands is just, you know, knowing what to expect, knowing that you can draw that into yourself. So they think there's a lot of magical energy here for you as well. I think there could be some fear or nostalgia around how you really feel however uh, and then balance so we're dealing with some libra energy here as well balancing the light and dark balancing the mind and heart um balancing what we want with what we have is another element of balance but it is you know the scales the scales of justice the scale the law natural law okay and in essence, we can't really hurry that. So if you're in the month of May or coming into the month of May, for example, and you wanted something to go super fast, especially something around your feelings, nostalgia, emotion, that type of thing, I would say, you know, don't try to hurry that. Just let it have its own little life. Let it, let it, let it have its own time and place. Let it, let it be. Let, it, let something unfold. Focus on what you can um, do something about. And then just let everything else be. So something is not for you. I would say an out, outdated idea, an outdated concept. Maybe something from the past needs to be let go, let go of here. Maybe you can only have a little bit. Or maybe you did analyze it and it wasn't what you th really thought it was. Maybe it turns out it's not nostalgia. It's just a memory, you know. Uh, so something isn't for you, something that feels like a game, gamey, something that feels like it, <clears throat> maybe you're doing it over and over and over. Maybe it's time to put that to a rest and do away with that with some love. And then you've got some really potent energy cards here. You have both Imagine and then you have Milk and Honey. So this is using this mindful awareness, especially around nostalgia or something you were hopeful for as a child, using this to your advantage. You have a lot more magic going on for you than you had anticipated. And I think it's just how you're using it. Uh, so imagine, this is using your imagination to your benefit, to the highest of all ideals. And then milk and honey. This is essentially, I mean, it's so similar to me energetically speaking to the sun card. The milk and honey is, is really like, oh, this is exactly what you wanted. Here, we're going to put some gold and then some frills on it and some lace and then ha now you can have it. It's almost like what you had in mind will be provided to you even better than what you had anticipated. So just keep your imagination strong, not weak, okay? Don't use it against you. Use it to strengthen you. Be hopeful. Be emotionally profound. Be willing to feel, okay? Be willing to feel and to be in those feelings and to use your imagination to your benefit because it's the same energy and time, right? If you use this to think of all the negative things, well, it's the same energy and time that you could have used it to think of all the wonderful things. So watch how you're using your imagination. Past life relationships. You have known each other before. Very curious here. 
I mean, I'm seeing this having to do with you and you only, but as a general reading, I mean, goodness knows what this is relating to job, career, money, family relationships, children, dating, spouses, etc. So only, I mean, take these cards and these messages and use them to your advantage, right? To how you see fit. I'm, I can only explain what I'm seeing, um, not knowing your particular situation. But as a general matter, I do feel like something is on repeat here. Whether this is something, I mean, it's no mistake that we have, you know, the Six of Cups here. We have all this water energy underlying the messages here. So I think it's how you're moving and acting and believing is making and, and, and what you could be doing to, you know, divert, create diversion away from something that needs to be paid attention to. Maybe if you want something like a, something that feels like a carousel to come to a standstill or to finally put something on a shelf, you're going to have to recognize it for what it really is and say not anymore or not this time or you know justice rules uh six all sixes are balances as well right so you could be trying to balance out your emotions through the mind so again try to treat those as two different entities you're going to have a heart space and then a mind space and um you can contemplate those together but really treat them as though they are entities worthy of their own um, expression and of their own uh, space in your life and that's what I have for you for the month of May Gemini I hope it was helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video take excellent care of yourselves bye for now